In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can see your notifications if they've been deleted by accident or if someone's deleted their notifications in certain applications all on your Android phone. Here, I'm going to show you how to do it in the S22 and the S23, but it should work with any Android phone running the latest Android software as well as the latest Samsung UI. This may be available on other devices as well, but under certain different names. So. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you already haven't because we're doing a 500 subs competition where you can win up to £50 worth of Amazon gift vouchers. All you have to do is subscribe to enter. We're about 10 subscribers away as of this recording. So probably by the time this video is released, it will be competition time. But don't worry because even if you pass 500 and you subscribe, the competition begins with a live competition video, so you won't be missing out. Plus, there'll be future competitions as well, and all you have to do to be a part of them is be a subscriber to the channel. So let's get into the video. Right, so to activate this, what you need to do is you need to go to your settings, and then you need to go to notifications, then you need to go to advanced settings, and then you need to go to notification history. Now this is what's going to show you all the notifications that you get on your phone, provided you're connected to the internet and are receiving notifications. This isn't going to show you notifications that have been deleted and you weren't connected to the internet and you didn't get notifications. You need to be connected. The notification needs to appear on your phone. And of course, you will then be able to see it in your notification history. So if I click on notification history, you can see that I have it toggled on. So when I have it toggled on, you see all these notifications here. And these notifications are what are always going to be there for you to view at a later time. I'm not sure how long they stay on this notification history panel. I think 24 hours, um, but I'll have that information in the description below if I can find it. But basically all your notifications from all applications will appear here. So that includes something like WhatsApp. So if someone sends you a message on WhatsApp, you receive the notification, and then all of a sudden it's been deleted and you wanna see what the message was. And then you can come to notification history and you'll be able to see the message. There are some parameters that you need to be aware of. So for example, you need to have notifications uh, displaying on your phone in detailed view, which allows you to see the message in the uh, application. You also need to have the notification uh, detailed version activated in the application as well. So if you've got your notification settings set to not have the pop-up come up and not have the detailed view of the notification, then unfortunately that's all you're going to get in notification history. So it's important to make sure you have that set up and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit here. So all the messages will appear here, but there are a few things to take note. For example, if someone sends you a Snapchat, Snapchat only gives you a notification that shows you that someone snapped you. So you won't be able to see their message in the notification and therefore you won't be able to see the notification uh, message in the notification history other than it telling you so-and-so snapped you. So there'll be no detail in that message there. Similarly, any other application that doesn't show you a detailed view of the notification, you won't get to see the message either. Also, when it comes to WhatsApp sharing links or pictures or disappearing messages and so on and so forth, they will not appear here like the text messages. So if someone sends you a picture, it will just say that someone sent you a photo. You can't view that photo if someone's deleted that photo. So it's literally only to do with text. Again, that applies to voice notes. You won't be able to play the voice notes. It'll just tell you that someone delivered a voice note. Another thing to note is once you get your uh, notifications here, if you, for example, by accident cleared all your notification and there was a particular notification you wanted to see, but not sure which application it came from, then you can view it here. So if you have a lot of notifications and just want to clear your phone notification panel, you can clear your notifications in your notification panel. And then at a later date, you can come back to your notification history and see exactly what notifications you got from which application without having to miss any of those notifications. 
So that's what you need to do. And then every notification you get, it appears here in the notification panel. So all you have to do is toggle this on. Now, I mentioned earlier that you need to have your notifications set to the detailed uh, view. And the way you do that is if we go out of advanced settings, you'll see um, app notification pop-up style. So if you have this in the detailed view, it's gonna show you a bit of the message, uh, ability to reply, and so on and so forth. Or you have the brief uh, notification, which unfortunately just tells you that you've received a message on the particular app or a particular notification on the particular app without giving you the details of what that notification is. For example, if there's a tweet uh, of a Twitter follower that you follow that appears on your feed, if you have it on the brief view, it will just say that so-and-so has tweeted and not the actual tweet. Whereas if you have in the detailed view, you'll be able to see the tweet. And that's what you need in order to see the notification history uh, to be working and functional so you can see deleted messages in something like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, text messaging, and applications like that, that show you the detailed version of the notification. Now, if this video helped you guys out, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't to enter our competition. It's absolutely uh, easy to enter our competitions. All you have to be is a subscriber. Comment down below if you've got any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video.